How does vendor bill discounting scheme works? Let's have a look at this. Let's say there is an industry major. We'll take the example of Tata Motors. So Tata Motors is the industry major, which is mainly into automobile and for manufacturing its products. It has to purchase various items from various vendors. So there will be thousands of vendors. So I'm just saying there are four to five vendors, vendor one, two, three, four, five. And they'll be waiting to get opportunity to sell their goods to Tata Motors. And here Tata Motors will say the terms. Tata Motors will say, you give me the goods, I'll make payment after 30 days, 60 days, whatever. And they'll be ready for that. Okay. So what will happen is these vendors, let's say in their individual capacity, they'll be selling goods to Tata Motors, let's say on credit basis. They are selling on credit. And this credit can be, let's say for example, I'm assuming it is 60 days credit. So on the 60th day, when the Tata Motors makes the payment, they'll get that money and they can continue with their activity. But in order to ensure continuous flow of activity, in order to ensure continuous availability of supply from these vendors, what this industry major Tata Motor will do? It will enter into an arrangement with a financial institution. Let's say for example, ABC Bank. Okay, It enters into an arrangement with a financial institution, ABC Bank. And the arrangement is to finance these vendors, to finance these vendors by discounting their invoice whenever they supply to Tata Motors. And for this bank also, it is really a lucrative business because these vendors are actually selling to Tata Motors, who is an industry major. And on the due date, Tata Motors will eventually pay them. So if this bank is going to come in between and finance these vendors, they will get cash immediately. This bank is also going to make income, right? So let's see how that happens. So these vendors are selling, right? When they sell, they will raise invoice. When they sell, they will raise invoice. And for this, they will have some kind of an automated system. Okay, some system will be there in place where this invoice will be uploaded and even the bank will also have access to that. But mere raising of invoice is not enough. Tata Motors should agree and approve that invoice. So once the invoice is uploaded, Tata Motors will go through that invoice and they will give their approval. It means they are accepting that invoice. That also means that on the 60th day, they will make payment to these vendors, whoever have raised the invoice. Now, what this financial institution will do, it has an arrangement with Tata Motors, right? And based on that arrangement, it will fund those vendors by discounting their respective invoice. Okay. They have raised invoice that is uploaded. Tata Motors reviewed. Tata Motors approved it. So whatever is the invoice money, after deducting their discount charges, they will finance these vendors. So these vendors are going to get cash. These vendors are going to get cash. They need not wait for this credit period of 60 days. And in that process, this bank also has made income through discounting charges. And this bank also has very little risk here. Why little risk? Because whatever the money that was given by the bank to these vendors need not be repaid by them. Rather, it will be paid by the Tata Motors on that due date. That is 60th day. So on 60th day, Tata Motors will honor all the invoices and that payment will come to this bank. So this is how vendor bill discounting happens. This is basically to support that supply chain. So here the benefit is vendors, they are given that much needed working capital. See, they have raised invoice and they need not wait for that 60 days. They are going to get that money immediately. It means they'll be able to 
continue their activity they need not wait for 60 days and this is going to help the industry major in big way because they are also going to ensure continuous supply of those much needed materials and it is also really safe for the bank because for the bank there is no much of uh, complexities i mean there is no mortgage there is no uh, detailed assessment for the bank it is going to be an assured cash flow from the industry major on the due date and in turn bank is also helping all these vendors to carry out their activities okay so this is the flow of vendor bill financing or we say vendor bill discounting thank you so much we have come to the end of this webinar and i am sure you would have really derived value from this short and crisp webinar if you wish to continue this learning journey i have an amazing opportunity for you i have published several courses on banking and financial analysis area each course costing 2000 rupees but for you i am going to give you a special offer here we go banking credit courses bundle this includes course number 1 banking credit analysis process it's a comprehensive course with 200 plus lectures it covers financial analysis working capital term loan lcbg it's a comprehensive ever course then we have course number 2 that is how to carry out financial analysis as a banker this is going to focus exclusively on financial ratio analysis cash flow analysis and fund flow analysis then comes course number 3 how to carry out term loan appraisal and analysis as a banker it's a comprehensive course focusing on the technical aspects around project finance and term loan these are all the topics then comes course number 4 how to prepare cma report for bank loan through eight sections this course will take you through entire cma report preparation process for bank loans then we have course number 5 how to read balance sheet so if you are a non finance person this course will give you complete insight into balance sheet how to read them how to interpret them how to analyze them okay then we have course number 6 how to read sibil report by taking this course you will get a complete picture of sibil report reading process then we have course number 7 how to prepare cash budget for bank loans this course will help you to understand the concept of cash budget which is widely used in short term lending like auto credit facilities letter of credit and all so far i have introduced seven courses of 1999 each it means seven courses of value 13993 but you are going to get it only for 2599 and it is not yet over i am going to give you some more bonus course number 8 collateral securities a comprehensive study course 9 how to carry out credit risk rating for non trading entities course number 10 in this course you will learn banking credit analysis through various case studies so now it is 10 courses of value close to 20000 but you are going to pay only 2599 it is not yet over some more bonus course number 11 how to read audit report course 12 this focuses on letter of credit and course 13 focuses on financial analysis in very short duration so you have 13 courses of value close to 26000 rupees but you are going to get it for just 2599 so it is basically seven main courses and you are going to get another six complimentary courses six courses as bonus so overall it is 13 courses of value close to 26000 rupees it's 1500 plus lectures you get lifetime access for all these pre recorded courses you can access them in desktop laptop mobile iphone ipad and the overall cost is around 26000 but you are going to get it only for 2599 so this is a once in a time opportunity for you enroll now i'll see you inside the course the link of the course i have given in the next lecture so once you complete this video just move on to the next lecture you will find the link click enroll i'll see you inside the course